Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Common Sense Academy. Joe Pometto, Joe the lawyer, the host of Common Sense Academy here. Today, we're going to take a look at a video of a First Amendment auditor who went into a government building. I'm not exactly sure what type of government building was recording. Security asked him to leave, and allegedly, he assaulted security with a tripod and the camera attached to the tripod. Um, these First Amendment auditors are annoying and they are a pain in the ass, but sometimes I take their side. I think you're going to have an interesting, you're going to find my opinion interesting um, in this particular case. So we're going to take a look at the video and then I'm going to go through um, the case that was filed against him in federal court and give you my opinion on that. But before we get there, if you like my channel, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. It's a free way to support the show. Costs you no money, costs you very little time. I'm looking to add subscribers right now. If I get to 10,000, I get a merchandise shelf, all kinds of cool stuff. So please subscribe. Most of my viewers are actually not subscribed, which is uh, surprising to me. Also, I got an email list. Go ahead, sign up for my email list. I'll give you updates on new videos, other stuff going on with the Common Sense Academy. You get a free PDF on a history examination of the sovereign citizen movement whenever you sign up. Now, before we watch the video, raise your cup, your stein, your glass in the air. We're going to do the same time sip. It tastes better when we sip together. I have coffee. I hope you have your favorite beverage too. Cheers. Ah, delicious. Okay, let me turn, make sure the volume's all the way up. Let's watch this video. I pulled off uh, Van Bay on too. He's got a great channel. Check him out. How are you? I'm just checking on my uh, government employees today. Oh. Yeah, just making sure you're behaving and all of that, so. Uh huh. So, are you having a good day? Uh, yeah. I just got here in the front, so oh. I'm covering for us. Okay. Well, that's good. Yeah, I'm famous at DES, so. Oh, you are? Yeah, do you, want a, do you want a selfie with me? What's your name? I don't know. Oh, you know, I, you know, I prefer to go by Daddy or Master. Huh? Daddy, your master. What's your name? Daddy, your master. Your can you please step outside? Why you Why are you being so aggressive? It's so high that if you take videos. No, it's can not. Take a video a hey, can. Yours. Hey, Step phone. outside. You're getting close to me. Seven one seven seven six seven one. I need you guys say sir. Don't touch me. Step outside. Don't touch me. <clears throat> this is a public lobby, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Here we are. Don't touch me. You need to stop recording. Get away from me! You need to stop recording. Stay back! Stay back! I will defend myself. Inside the building. This is a public lobby, sir. Is this a public lobby? <laughs> Well, you need to leave. This is a public lobby. Stop recording, you need to leave. No, I'm not going to stop recording. Have you heard of the First Amendment, sir? Back up, sir. Right here, in front of Chilson. I have official... To leave. I have to official Get business. Out. Get out. Get out. Call the police! Yep. Get away from me. Okay, you're gonna roll over now on your stomach. On your stomach. There's some crazy guy out here. Call the police. Can they help? Please, help, please. Got it. Yeah. Okay, so we can watch the, I'll, I will link to the rest of the video, okay, 
Um, and we can, you can watch it uh, there. You can hear some more stuff goes on. You might find it entertaining uh, or informative one way or another. Uh, my quick comments, my comments on these before we get into the legal aspect of it is, you know, this guy's attitude, he comes in, he says, oh, my go oh my government employees. I mean, that's a real, I, I don't like that attitude that a lot of these frauditors, uh, I mean, auditors have, um, whereas they're like, oh, this, is, I pay tax dollars, so this is my, this is my facility. You work for me, da 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 da, -da. No, buddy, sorry, it doesn't work that way. You pack, pay tax dollars, they work for the government, and they work for their bosses. All right, they don't work for you. They don't have to answer to you, and you treat them in a demeaning manner, which I think is uh, really, really unprofessional and sad. Um, then you know he comes in. He says, "She says, what are you doing?" The woman at the counter, making sure you're behaving. Uh, he says, "Making sure you're behaving." Uh, what, what, oh, how are you going to make sure that they're behaving by walking into the lobby of a government building? Okay, you don't know from a hole in the wall what that woman's doing there behind the desk, okay? Uh, frankly, she could be embezzling millions of dollars. You have no idea what you got on your little cell phone camera. It really makes no difference in a situation like this, all right? You think you're, you're checking on these people. You're mostly just causing a nuisance, all right? Uh, he says he's famous. He asked her if she wants a selfie with him. Well, that's interesting approach, sir. Uh, then when the security officer asked what his name is, he says, you can call me daddy or master. Um, that's again, unprofessional, very sloppy. You know, I think there's ways to go about doing this auditing. Let them know you're coming in, call in advance or be very cooperative. Don't be so, uh, antagonistic and maybe you won't get your ass kicked. So, uh, you know, he says, stay back. I'm going to defend myself. This is a public lobby. And then the next thing we know, there's some kind of physical altercation and, uh, the video ends. Uh, so what we've heard is that he attacked him with a tripod. Now let's take a look at some of the court documents here that arose. So a case was filed against him in federal court. Oh, first, there's a picture of the gentleman. Um, doesn't look too happy there. Doesn't look like a master or a daddy there, like he he described. Uh, he looks like he's like, oh, damn, I'm in jail. This sucks. So let me uh, move that. Oh, move that one over. Okay, uh, this is some of the text from the case. I'll read it and I'll explain to you. So first of all, let me just throw this out there. This, I didn't catch exactly what building this is. Um, that he went into Department of Economic, Secur Economic Security, DES. That's where he went, DES. Um, which I'm really not familiar with DES, but okay, he went into a DES office. Um, and because that's a federal office, he's there, therefore he's technically on federal grounds. He got charged in federal court. Uh, federal criminal court is no place to joke around, man. It's no place, they will, they will destroy you. So here, the United States attorney, Lisa E. Jenis, um, you know, she filed this, well, this, uh, it, it, she filed this, uh, it looks like the incident occurred on March 13th, which uh, adds adds to this because of the coronavirus outbreak was active and occurring. Well, March 13th, that's right about when it was starting. Um, but uh, it, it happened on March 13th. This was in his hearing was scheduled for March 20th. It appears they're holding him in jail and this is his bond hearing. They call it a detention hearing. Now it says, uh, United States asserts that the defendant is charged with a crime of violence and that he poses a serious risk of non-appearance for future proceedings. Sorry, I'm moving around. I didn't realize it was going to be a pain to, to sort of, uh, move this. Okay. Let me see what I can do here. Well, I guess the important thing is if I can read it, guys. All right. So um, let me do it here. The United States of America. So uh, he had a case. He had what they're arguing here. They say here. OK. Um, the the United States attorney the, the asserts the defendant is charged with a crime of violence and he poses a serious risk of non-appearance for future proceedings. And there is a serious risk that he will obstruct and attempt to obstruct justice and intimidate prospective witnesses. On March 13th, defendant was arrested by Phoenix Police Department for aggravated assault with a deadly weapon uh, pursuant to 13 a 2 after strict 
excuse me, after striking a DES security officer with his cell phone, which was in a hard case attached to a tripod. Um, attached to a tripod. Let me read the rest here which was approximately five feet long. The defendant used both hands to swing the tripod with cellular phone, struck the security guard on the left side of his face, causing a mark and scratch from his ear to his eye. Okay, and they also state that, that I guess, prior to that arrest, um, this individual had been, um, has been arrested for four before for similar activities. Uh, sorry, let me make this a little better visual experience for you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jumping around here. Um, okay, so you guys can see me. When defendant was interviewed after his arrest, he stated that he would never stop posting public information on the internet. He stated as long as he didn't make a true threat that he couldn't be prosecuted. He admitted that he didn't care how it made people feel as he couldn't control their feelings. He stated that as long as a government employee was going to infringe on his rights, he would continue to do what he is doing. He stated that either you have a free country or you don't and you can't publish public information about someone and you can't you can publish public information. You can talk about someone on the internet, period. Okay, if you can't do that, you don't have a free country. What can you talk about on the internet? And I understand the government doesn't like it, but that's nice. The United States has satisfied its burden of showing clear and convincing evidence that there are no conditions of, or combination of conditions that can assure the safety of the community if, if he is released. So I, I have a couple of opinions here. Number one, I mean, the guy's a First Amendment auditor. He's a nuisance and he's a pain in the butt. Okay, but to try to deny him bond or bail uh, based on this, I think is a little bit out of, I don't think that, I think it's out of line. Um, I think that the judge will likely grant him bond, even though the United States government is asking he should not be released. All right. Yeah. He hit an officer with a tripod during an altercation where he was being arrested or removed. Um, he was, you know, this wasn't an intentional sort of, uh, it wasn't like an assault that materialized out of end nowhere, domestic violence, et cetera, et cetera. Um, even if it was, most people who are accused of simple assault, even aggravated assault, are granted some kind of bond or some kind of home detention where uh, they are released from jail. I, I think it's unreasonable to hold this guy in jail, okay, until his court date because he was doing auditing in a government building and got into a tussle with the officer. I'd be curious to know if the officer was seriously injured. I doubt it. Uh, I think it does make a difference that he swung this thing with two hands. That does show some malicious intent. Um, but otherwise, I would say uh, I don't think that he should be held. He should be detained. Um, should he be charged for swinging the tripod with the camera at the officers? Absolutely. Absolutely. You can't do that, okay? When you are getting arrested, you comply with the arrest and you sue them later. You comply with their commands and you sue them later. So they ask you to leave, you leave, okay? They, they physically try to remove you, you comply. If they're going to arrest you, which means you've left them no other choice, then you comply. Should he be charged in this instance? Yes. Will he likely be able to work this case out without any serious criminal consequences? Maybe. That depends on his prior record. I don't know what his prior record is. But as I have said many, many times, comply with the police, sue them later. Comply now, sue later. Listen to commands, sue them later. If he truly believes that his First Amendment rights were infringed and that he had the right to videotape in that office, then when he was told to leave, he should have just complied and then slapped them with a the lawsuit. That's what you do. That's how you do it, okay? You don't do it in the juvenile manner where you resist the arrest or you resist them from moving. If you go, you file a lawsuit and you win, then you'll be able to go in there and videotape freely as much as you want. 
What I've been finding with these First Amendment auditor cases is that some of the district courts are split. So different federal, I'm sorry, circuit courts are split. Some federal courts are allowing these auditors to be regulated indoors. Some are sort of uh, taking a hands-off approach. It's going to be interesting to see what happens in the law. I have a couple of articles that I'm going to cover in upcoming episodes concerning the legality of videotaping indoors. There was a recent case, I believe, out of the Ninth Circuit where a First Amendment auditor was in City Hall just randomly recording and City Hall had passed an ordinance um, allowing them to remove those individuals and essentially if they had no specific purpose for being there they could be removed something along those lines so it's an interesting split I actually believe that this is going to go to the, the Supreme Court I do believe that I don't know the current state of it maybe that already happened I don't think so I think the Supreme Court is going to speak on First Amendment auditing inside government uh, doors the law outside is already very, very well established. So, you know, this guy, if he was in there and he believed he was within his rights, he should have just left. You don't attack the security guards. You don't swing tripods at them. You don't commit an assault. Should he be charged? Yes. Is he being charged? Yes. Should he be granted bond? Probably. I think he probably will. I'll see if I can check up on this case in the future. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed my commentary and we had some fun. This is the Common Sense Academy signing out. If you like my videos, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. I'm looking to get subscribers right now. Get me to 10,000, everybody. Thank you very much for supporting the show.